cancel, and you do two hits into his quirk one string, dash cancel, two hits into his arm move, into quirk one again, and it'll meet you below, but that's good. So you dash up, place the puddle down. Um, Kill nearly ready. So they they're just not ready for it. And you can combo into it in some situations as well. Or allowed to attack after that. So you go attack, attack, huddle, attack, attack, huddle, attack, attack. Two quirk ones. You can't get a full combo after this because it'll be in like instant meaty blow. That's why I like to go for this mix. I go two attacks, so it looks like I'm trying to go for a combo. Then they're like, oh no, and then they're blocking and stuff, and they're like, whoa, I think we can go into his combos. And this is where Shigaraki actually has a lot of options as well, just like some other characters like Bakuto or something. He's combo heavy and has lots of different situations where he can set up for different things. So, high meterless damage that you can get with Shigaraki is if you do two hits. Into puddle, two hits, into puddle, two hits, into the quirk one string. And this has variable damage, see there, it didn't even meteor blow, and it's gonna do about 9000 damage. Sometimes it can do about 9500 damage at the beginning, but it will meteor blow. I think it just depends on how many of the puddle hit, but it just really depends. See that one, Meteor Blow. And yeah, sometimes it does 9000 damage. I guess it just depends on the puddle, or if you're near a wall, it'll do more puddle attacks. Here, I'll try and get him close to the wall. And if we do it here, it should do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, he Meteor Blow. Okay, so maybe not dead in the corner, because they'll um, get hit by the puddle too many times. Meteor Blow. But anyways, you're not going to be doing that too often unless you're doing a plus ultra one. So a main combo that you're going to be doing with Shigaraki is one dash cancel, and you do two hits into his quirk one string, dash cancel, two hits into his arm move, into quirk one again, and it'll meet you below, but that's good. So you dash up, place the puddle down. Um, it doesn't have to be a dash cancel, you can just dash like after the um, thing hits at the end, so it doesn't cost a dash cancel. Sometimes I just like to use a dash cancel to make sure I actually get there in time. So they have Meteor Blow, and you put the puddle down right where they have to wake up, and then they have to deal with whatever you do on their wake up. It's really, really strong tool. Yeah, so Meteor Blow is actually something that you want to be doing with Shigaraki. You want to be doing these big combos that always end in, in a Meteor Blow, because in a Meteor Blow effect, your opponent can't, um, they can't do a recovery, so they have to wake up and stand in this, and if they try to block, well, you can do a red attack and go into the combo again. And then go back into this, and then they have to deal again. If they try to jump out of the way, I'll just jump into the air and do the air portion of my, um, combo. So like, oh, they tried to jump on wake up, and I'll just, like, after the, um, beauty blow. I'll just jump in the air and hit them with this combo, starting from the air. And you just you end up getting a lot of damage with Shigaraki. If you check out my um, an online ranked matches that I do with Shigaraki, it should be coming out soon, or maybe it's already out by the time this comes out. You can do like over 80% of your opponent's health bar with the one reset, and it shows the full red of their bar because they haven't had a chance to do anything. So it looks like you've done an 80% combo just from these like crazy resets. It's it's really strong stuff. And obviously as well, if they think they can block it, you can go for the grab to instill the fear factor again. Especially if you only have one left. You can really make sure you try and go for it, even combo into it, and then they're insta-dead. Oh, sucks to suck, right? Um, yeah, so that's the main combo you're going to be using, is attack, attack, into quirk one, into dash cancel, two attacks, into the armor attack, into this, meteor blows, but that's good, and then you go into the puddle, and then you go for your reset. And it's, this is a proper reset in this game, because usually resets, I don't really call resets because the damage scaling effect still is there, so it's like just like it was in the combo. But because there's a meteor blow or a recovery in the combo, it's a full reset, so you'll get full damage with whatever you can get off the uh, meteor blow into pu puddle. 
uh, situation. And the combo one itself also does pretty decent damage at 9000, which is a bit below average. But when you take into the effect the amazing mix-ups and like easy, like your opponent can't do anything afterwards, it does a lot more than 9000. It usually does, I would say on total, like if you do it right and you catch your opponent, it can do an easy 18,000 damage. It's really strong. If you catch them trying to jump into the air, they think they'll just jump away or like try and just run away because they're in the puddle. But you just jump into the air and do your attack stream. This is, he's really fast in the air. Like, look at this attack. There's no getting away from this in the air. So you just jump into the air, do two hits, arm and move, and you've gone into this again. And then we're back where we started. And they're going to try and make a different move. Maybe they're just going to block this time. So I'll go into my red move. And then hit them with that. And then oh, there's just so many mix-ups. And it's so awful and dirty. And on top of this, you have the insta-kill grab. Like, counting up throughout the whole game. Every time you get a hit, there's a chance you go into it. So you have this building up. It's just it's just so strong. And with the resets, your opponent is just so scared to do anything. It's so scary. It fits him so well, because it's so villainous. Um, if you want to do a plus ultra combo, I suggest you do two hits, and just puddle, and two hits, and just puddle, and two hits, and two, two quite two hits, not the third one, because then you don't get a plus ultra. And then you're getting a lot of damage. Easy peasy. They've been standing, 14,000 damage with a plus ultra, and as you saw there, they're left standing, and you're at advantage, so you're allowed to attack after that. So, you go attack, attack, puddle, attack, attack, puddle, attack, attack. Two quick ones. You can't get a full combo after this because it'll be in like instant meaty blow. That's why I like to go for this mix. I go two attacks, so it looks like I'm trying to go for a combo. Then they're like, oh no, and then they're blocking and stuff, and they're like, whoa, I didn't know that was a restand. Because they don't expect the plus ultra to be a restand, they don't expect you to be able to attack afterwards, and they certainly don't expect after all of that, you're going to go into your insta kill, and they are instantly going to die. Just because you've done this crazy 14,000 14, damage combo to these weird resets with three sands. And then all of a sudden, you've used your insta kill. Or charged up your insta kill. And this is just another example of how he just instills fear so hard. He's so terrifying. And I love playing it so much because <laughs> it's a really unique playstyle. You know, there's not many people that have these massive setups and with unblockables and instant kill grabs for sure. So yeah, that's basically it's basically Shigaraki in a nutshell. I don't really use supports too much. I just like having these supports because you know they can control the neutral. I pull him out on block and then do this red attack. Also, did I mention? how far this red attack goes, like I can be over here and he's just gonna leap over and do this possible 100% damage grab just to kill. He's just gonna leap all the way across the screen and get it, like even from over here it looks like maybe I'm gonna go for a puddle or something, you know, because I'm often charging my puddle that has a similar startup. Nope, charge in, insta die possibly, or charge up to the insta die, it's just so... It's so dirty and so evil guys, I love it so much. And yeah, if I manage to get a support, and I catch him? Oh, well, you're dead. Anyways, guys, I'll do his plus ultra 2 combo, and I'll end the video here, because that's all I have to say about Shigaraki. He's super strong, super dirty, super cheesy, but so villainous. It's so fun to play him, because you really feel like the real guy. He's just so menacing, and just like that. The laugh really sums up his entire playstyle. He's just... Super easy, make sure you're scaring your opponent absolutely to death. And thanks for watching guys, I'll